the last example from the step function section is um, having to do with shipping costs. So the shipping cost of items purchased from an online store is dependent on the weight of the item. The table represents the shipping cost y based on the weight x. They want us to graph the function, identify the domain and range of the function, and then the maximum and minimum values. Um, so when they're giving us this information in a table, it's not a traditional input output. So the weight of the items is the input, but notice that they're giving us a range of values. So they're saying X is greater than zero, but less than or equal to two pounds. And then it fits that way all the way across where we have a less than on the left and a less than or equal to on the right. So what you need to remember is that when you see an inequality without the equal sign, that means that when you plot that point, you're using an open dot. When you see an inequality that has the equal to, you're plotting that point as a closed dot. And so what we're getting from each cell in the table or each pair of cells in the table is actually two coordinates. So the X values are in this one zero, and then the Y value is five. Okay, so that Y value is repeated for two different X values. Then we have a Y value of two, a, sorry, an X value of two and a Y value of five. So this, these two cells in the table are telling us to plot two different points, zero, five, and two, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Again, looking at the inequality, zero, five is gonna be open, two, five is gonna be um, included. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if I plot the point zero, five, so if I essentially buy nothing, I'm not really paying $5, right? So if what I buy away is nothing. They're not shipping me anything. I'm not really paying any money. But as soon as that weighs just a little bit, then I'm paying $5 for it up until an item that weighs two pounds. Okay. What the next cell is telling me is that an item that weighs just a little teeny bit over two pounds is gonna cost $8 all the way up to something that weighs equal to four pounds. Okay, so I'm going to have at two pounds, I'm going to pay eight dollars. I'm going to pay that amount. Oh, sorry. I'm paying two dollars. Sorry, I'm paying five dollars when it weighs two pounds. And then once it weighs a little bit more than two pounds, I'm paying eight dollars up until it weighs exactly four pounds. The next cell in the table is telling me that something that weighs a little bit more than four pounds is going to cost $11 and everything up to six pounds is gonna cost that same amount. So from four to six, I'm gonna have that line as well. And then finally, something that weighs a little bit more than six pounds is gonna cost $14, all the way until something that weighs eight pounds. Okay, so this is the graph of the shipping cost. So the domain is all of the possible X values that they gave us. So if we look at our graph from, from left to right, um, we can see that the first X value is technically at zero, but since it's open, that's not included. And so remember that if I'm writing this in interval notation, that means that I'm going to write a parenthesis. And so whenever I have something that is that kind of inequality, that's a parenthesis. Okay. So my zero has a parenthesis. Um, my X values all line up. So even though this is a whole, it matches up with that X value. So nothing is left out. So I have not zero, but every number from zero until I hit eight. Okay, so my domain goes till eight, and that value for eight is included. So remember that when I have that equal to, I'm also using a bracket instead of a parenthesis. I could instead write this using an inequality um, by essentially ignoring all of the middle of the inequality. And so notice I have this zero is less than x, and I have this x is less than or equal to eight pounds. And so the way that I could write that is zero is less than x, which is less than or equal to eight. And so that would give me the same domain. So these two notate are just two different notations for the same statement. Okay, so I can either write it as zero comma eight, where zero has a parenthesis and eight has a bracket, or zero is less than x is less than or equal to eight. With the range, if we look at our y values, the lowest y value is five and the highest is 14. But because we have these jumps, we can't just say that it goes from five to 14. 
This is actually just a set of specific numbers. So our range is only the values that are included in our set. So it's all of our y's such that y is 5, 8, 11, and 14. So we only have those four specific y values. We don't have all the y values between. Um, finally, looking at our range, we can tell the max and the min. So the maximum is the biggest y value, which was 14. And the minimum was the smallest y value, which was our 